see a lot of these a lot of these action sequences i'm i suppose it's the hallmark of my career i create these big uh you know big silly things that happen most people watching you know would i think uh, correctly assume could never happen in real life but that's why we go to the movies i guess this all started for you know as i as i explained before John McTiernan and I were trying to figure out how, in fact, you do get $160 billion worth of gold bullion out of Manhattan. Okay, well, we decided to take it out through the Manhattan water aqueduct. What really uh, made it concrete was this whole notion that the coffer dam was available to the bad guys to be blown up that would release all the water down on McLean. I mean, that's what really did it. And these kind of action set pieces, I mean, it's... If you started pulling apart all the action set pieces, you know, in the Bond films or in Indiana Jones, and you pulled them apart and started uh, uh, criticizing them for their lack of logic or their impossibility in real life, it would be really hard to make one of these pictures. You know, it's, I, you know, I think that I doubt very much that the, for instance, the rolling granite ball in Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know, could have been placed there by those. Uh, Indians, you know, 2,000 years ago. or I could go on and on and on. Clearly the Bond pictures have just completely absurd stuff in them. You know, there's a... When you're, when you're setting about to write one of these pictures, you have to have an imagination that leaps forward uh, and that imagines stuff that is, well, frankly, patently absurd. But that the reason why you're, you're including it in the picture or in the screenplay is because it's going to offer a tremendously exciting or tremendously funny or and or both um, sequence. And uh, this whole thing with McLean in the, in the water aqueduct with the water bearing down on him, I think was irresistible to me and to John McTiernan. You know, we, McTiernan, when, he, when he, I pitched it to John, and McTiernan said, do you mean the water comes down and, 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 and blows through the tunnel and, and McLean's on the dump truck and he's actually like surfing the dump truck? And I said, yeah. And he went, yeah, that'll be unbelievable, you know. And somebody in the room brought up the physical impossibility of that, that water moving through a tunnel would never create enough force to blow the truck through the pipe to actually allow the McLean to surf the dump truck. Well, I'm not uneducated. I acknowledge that that's true. I mean, that, that it is physically impossible. The water would simply pass around the truck. The truck's weight would just hold it fixed to the bottom of the of the aqueduct tunnel the force of the water might move it a little bit might jostle it push it forward a little bit um, but clearly you wouldn't have that surfing thing and you know McTiernan and I looked at each other and say okay it's physically impossible let's do it anyway who cares and uh, <laughs> that's the way a lot of these uh, sequences <laughs> sequences happen I imagine yeah, you know there's a there's a fine line is it so implausible or so impossible looking that the audience doesn't believe it or the audience turns away or says oh that's horse shit no I, I don't believe so I think that it's seen for what it is it's real funny it's real exciting it's visually arresting and uh, you know I'm glad it's in the movie